Hey guys and dolls, today I'm bringing you the very first video in my Halloween series for this year. I'm going to be taking you guys on a bit of a journey through the last century. Each one of these videos will be inspired not only by a particular decade, so this is by 1900, but really truly it's steampunk, so it's a little more fantastical and a little, you know, you could take some liberties with it and have some fun. But for a lot of these, they're going to be inspired by particular pop culture references. So while I don't want to give everything away, one I guess I could give away is the next theme, which will be Downton Abbey slash Titanic. But just to kind of give you an idea of some of the themes going forward, I don't want to give anything away. It's a big old secret. You guys are going to die over so many of them. I am so proud to finally share this with you because I've been working on it for so long and trying to iron everything out and make it perfect. And if you enjoy this, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell your friends. It's the only way I can grow my channel is by word of mouth. I really appreciate everyone who brings their friends into the fold or will share my videos on Facebook or Instagram or wherever. I really appreciate it. You can always share my looks as long as you credit me. So appreciate it actually. Um, and that's pretty much it. I am super excited about today's look. This is a seam prunk seamstress or the dressmaker. Let me show you guys how I created this look. I'm starting out this makeup adventure with some brow cover. Today I'm using the glue stick method. Since I'll be gluing snaps onto my brows later, this doesn't need to be perfect, but I will color correct lightly with some coral lip liner, and then go over with a full cover concealer and set the whole thing with powder. Then I based out my eyelids using Max Painterly Paint Pot and highlighted using a pale cream eyeshadow. In the center of my lid, I packed on an intense matte yellow eyeshadow, and then to ground that, I used a stone colored eyeshadow in the inner and outer lid. I then blended towards the center lid to make a cohesive rounded shape. Next I added a warm haze with a medium brown matte shadow. All of the brushes I'm using today are the new Urban Decay brushes and this was the first time I actually used them and I was really impressed with how they worked overall. To add another layer of intensity to the eye, I popped on an acid green with a tiny little bit of shimmer just to the very center of the lid. Using the TARDIS liner, I first drew a thick and even line across my lash line. Then following my natural eye line, I created a wing using the Delium Tool 762. Best eyeliner brush ever. Before I finish the eyes, I like to do my foundation. For the sake of brevity, I'm going to speed this up, but if you're curious, everything will be listed and linked at VintageOrTacky.com. For the brows, I'll be using four different sized black snaps separating the backs and fronts to get an even greater size variance. Overall, there will be about eight different sizes. Using classic duo glue, I lay down a thin layer on top of my brows and put a little bit on the back of each snap. Working one snap at a time on each side, I work to get them evenly placed, tucking each one into the previous snap to minimize gaps. The effect is striking and really fun. Just make sure you take the time beforehand to test the sizes and make sure that you have them placed for the perfect arch. Now time to glue more stuff. Still kicking it with the classic duo, I'm applying some Katy Perry Kapow lashes, which have a purple tint. Using a lash applicator makes the entire process so much easier. I sketched out my lower lash line using Urban Decay Perversion and smoked it out using their new detailed smudger brush. Next, I smudged a combination of matte and metallic burgundy eyeshadow into the lower lash line. The burgundy shades do a wonderful job of complementing the yellows and greens in the upper lid. For the open eye effect, I used the Pixie No. 2 Extra Bright Liner in my inner rim. I used the Graftobian Cool Powder Foundation Palette and used a combination of the lightest and darkest shades for a dramatic contour. These are a foundation powder and I'm really impressed by the way that they blend. I needed to add a little bit of warmth so I used another color from the same palette as a bronzer. I couldn't resist using the blush from the Hourglass Palette so I just used the same brush to dust a little on my cheeks. I used Urban Decay Perversion Mascara Top and Tails, and then I stamped the mascara wand itself onto my lower lash line for a neat, grungy effect. When using OCC Lip Tars, lip primer is a must. I love using MAC's Prep and Prime Lip. My metallic pout is none other than Black Metal Dahlia from the Ready to Wear OCC Lip Tar line. I applied a bit straight from the tube and then perfected the shape using a small, detailed brush. To really enhance the grunge effect, I decided to stamp on some additional mascara blurbs. 
And then to highlight, I use an iridescent green powder. To give the lips pop, I then dusted over the top and center bottom lip with Pink Heart from the Moonchild palette. I love layering powders over the OCC lip tars. The oils in the lip tar actually keep it from looking cakey or dry. This is the look so far, but it just needed a few finishing touches. Again, using that classic duo, I glued a black rhinestone onto my natural freckle. And finally, went over the intersection of my pout with the original black dahlia to add depth and offset the shimmer even more. And that's the look. The majority of my costume, the corset, the black top, the hoop skirt, they all came from hipsandcurves.com, which is one of my favorite places to go and get Halloween costumes, as well as sexy fun lingerie. Uh, the hoop skirt can also be found on Etsy. I will have a link to a seller that sells them in a wide range of sizes. So even my friends who wear straight sizes can get these. Um, the bottoms are a swimsuit and the boots are from Legroom. The wig is from Arta Wigs, and that is the look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I will also have links in the description bar down below as well as some links within the video here for you to click on to check out more steampunk videos, more vintage inspired looks, and more Halloween videos from me. As the series progresses, I will have links to the additional videos in this year's theme in the description bar down below. And be sure to tune in. All of the videos will be pop culture inspired from the last century. And I can't wait to show you guys next week's look. See you soon. Bye-bye.